uh, Chairman Presley De Jesus, uh, the third. Yes, Ominal, you have 30 minutes. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, I would just ask um, some questions to, for clarifications to the resource speaker before I'll make the manifestation on the entirety of the project. Please address the chair directly, not uh, the resource person for your questions. Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I'm just making a preliminary yes. remark on okay. my time, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, um, in the um, adjudication of the evidence, uh, the chair um, cleared that um, issue number one and number two and number three, uh, trying to implead the DPWH as the office that commits the violations. Uh, I would like, therefore, to ask the DPWH the district engineer to explain and clarify what is this PMCA about which was being raised by um, the author as uh, had reported a 71% accomplishment. D. Carol Abinales, please respond to the uh, question. It should be the DA e. Hipona, uh, Mr. Chair, who is now the current. Uh, ah, the current, na ba? Yeah, he is now the current. District but this engineer. happened during the time of Abinales, yeah, the, the, the 71%. Yeah, but this is what we call a policy of the DPWS, okay. this PMCA. This is a system Hipon, uh, which the district. D. Hipon, please uh, answer. Hipona. Yes, yes, I'm ah, Please. Uh, uh, 76 percent. Okay. Now, this is as of May 31, 2020. Uh, this is under project 19KJ0186, uh, comprising of two, two areas, which is area one is Malaubang section and the second section is Lam'an section for a total project cost of 50 million pesos. Now, as of May 31, 2020, the accomplishment is 71.36. What was shown earlier was that it, 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 it was not a report from Kamigin, uh, from Misamis Occidental, but from Bukidnon. So I believe that first presentation was wrong. Okay, so uh, the... Uh, the author implies that there is uh, that the project is ghost because uh, the presentation was that there is already an accomplishment of 71 percent before the contractor had started the project on May. So um, you were referring that this is uh, the, he was mentioning that this is PMCA generated system. So, yes. can you please inform this committee what is really the actual accomplishment and what is that PMCA? Why is that PMCA has reported a 71%? No. When the, uh, when, uh, accordingly, it does not reflect to the actual accomplishment. Can you please explain that system for the uh, satisfaction of the committee members? PCMA is uh, means uh, project contract management application. Project contract management application. It is a computer generated report, and then the the accomplishment are all are, uh, uh, based on projection of the per CPM. Yes, based on projection as per our prepared PC uh, prepared per CPM, and along the way it may change based on if there be any changes in the in the project such as variation orders or any suspension orders. Now, the 71.36 is correct, co correct, and because because based on our report as of May 20, 2020, what 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 was reported was 71.36. That is correct, sir. But and that, that is that is but that is for May 31, 2020. And that report is based on the original PERTS PM, which was not yet amended because of the suspension yes, which sir. Got yes, sir. earlier mentioned because the contractor wasn't able to start the work immediately since the lot was not yet available. Yes, sir. This is still subject to change upon approval of the operation orders. 
suspension and suspension orders okay so um in short uh the project is there it is not ghost there is no ghost payment because uh, even if it is 71 percent as a uh, system generated but the payment that the agency has made to the contractor is uh, how much is it also 71 percent or based no, on the actual accomplishment no sir as of as of october 26 2020 what was paid was only equivalent to 39 percent sir which represents the actual accomplishment yes sir only 39 percent as of that day what was paid was only 39 percent of the total cost of the project sir okay um um mr um chair i would like to as um representative of the people uh where this particular project belongs in the city of Osamis. So I would like to um, make a presentation on the program. And uh, before I will uh, um, make some uh, further clarificatory questions to the resource speakers and also to the author, uh, Mr. Chair. May I request for the presentation uh, the slide presentation on the actual situation of the project. Mr. Uh, Chair. Mr. Chair, he is Mr. out of Chair? order. Yes, uh, Maminal is out of order. What is your grounds? The grounds, Mr. Chair. Sure. Why is he the one presenting the project? Is he the contractor? Uh, Mr. The Chair. DPWH, if they so desire, should be the one to make a presentation, but they will ask this committee to do so. If DS Waminal is the contractor, probably, then I will allow that. But he is the contractor, Mr. Chair. He is no personality in presenting his own project. So what is your motion, Mr. Chair? DS uh, Marcoleta? He cannot be allowed to make a presentation, can you Mr. Form Chair. That, can you, you know, translate that into a motion so I that we get up that the Chair can rule? It is completely uh, Mr. Chair, it is out of order, time. Mr. Well, Chair, well, for DS of... Waminal to make a presentation considering that he is not a member, he is not an official of DPWH. This is a project entirely upon the supervision and implementation of DPWH. It has nothing to do with him. Ah. Mr. Chair, the point of order does not, when, when we see point of order, there is a violation of the role. No, there is no role or uh, uh, brace by this Marcolita which serve as a basis for his point of order. There is no rule, Mr. I, Chair. I, I am. We are ruling on the basis of my own resolution that there are infractions concerning the project in Osami City and the, the project concerns the implementation of DPWH. So the mm -hmm. DPWH are the ones are supposed to be the ones defending this project, not DS Waminal. DS Waminal, can you answer his uh, no, objection, his point of order? Mr. Chair, as I said, there is no role violated which serves as a basis for his point of order. And for second the one thing, Mr. Chair, the role, yeah, it Mr. should Chair. be allowed to... Uh, this is my time, Mr. Chair. Uh, no? DS Marcoleta, please give uh, leeway to, to explain his uh, side why he will so this uh, presentation. Well, Mr. I, I, I Chair, he should, preliminary... first, he should first present the personality why he is the one presenting the project himself. Mr. Chair, I had already made a preliminary remarks, Mr. Chair, and about to continue. Not who who is the project can, funding? Can, can we stick to a question and answer phase? Because uh, this is an interpolation. So I would appreciate if we could uh, proceed with the question. You can question anybody to present your case? Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, as, I, as I said, um, the resolution covers in his first were as an appropriations funded by the General Appropriations Act, Mr. Chair. And this particular provision, Mr. Chair, is the project, this is local infrastructure fund on our GAA, which has been proposed by the respective congressman in the different districts or party list. So this is a project funded out of the representation of this representation, Mr. Chair. So that's why I would present the project how? because I am the proponent. And then... How long is the presentation? It, it just actually... Uh, it, it will not take... Uh, oh, no. Two um, minutes? Five uh, minutes? There is uh, probably one minute. Then there is another two minutes or three minutes as I go along, Mr. Chair. Oh, please be informed that this is part of your 30 minutes. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay. Please okay. proceed. Okay. Please proceed, Mr. 
DS man, DS nominal. Um, this is just a slide presentation, Mr. Chair. That is the condition of the area of the residents who are the beneficiaries of this project, Mr. Chair. And then the uh, project uh, slide presentation to that is the um, project, Mr. Chair, to transform the standard of living of those informal settlers in that area to this kind of project, Mr. Chair. And that that right side building, Mr. Chair, is the one funded, that uh, first unit on the right side, that is the one funded of the 50 million allocations, portion of the 50 million, which is the 35 million, and the other one, which is in diagonal, that is uh, the phase two, which is funded by the 20% uh, development fund of the city, uh, Mr. Chair. So that the, can you please go back to the first uh, slide? Uh, the, the first slide, okay. The residents of the area, Mr. Chair, there are about 100 beneficiaries, residents, more or less. Of this, Mr. Mr. Chair, may I make oh, a manifestation oh, oh. that this slide was taken during the height of Sendong, Typhoon Sendong. Oh. Eh, Mr. Chair, uh, he can make manifestation misled, Mr. Little. Chair, this, this was taken during the Typhoon Sendong, Mr. Chair, not in Laman. This is not in Laman. Uh, mi, 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 noted, noted. Laman? Uh, noted. Uh, please do not engage. Is this in question. Barangay Laman? I want to ask him. Is this, is is, Barangay, is this Laman? In Barangay Laman? Yes, yes Mr. Chair. That is not that in Laman, is Mr. The, Mr. Chair. Uh, and, uh, I, I should, will ask residents. Uh, le, le, please please, uh, please do not engage one another and ask the chair this. directly your questions. Mr. Yeah. Chair, this is like is misrepresenting and, and he is misleading this court, uh, this, this committee. This is not in Laman. This is somewhere else. Maybe Malaubang, but this was taken at the height of Typhoon Sendong, um, which is five years ago. Five years ago. Do not put us throwings here. You can put up the best throwings here. That this is not because, please, uh, please uh, noted, DS Marcoleta. Please proceed. Uh, DS Ominal, you have uh, already consumed 12 minutes of your oh, time. Um, Mr. Chair, so this is the side of the Laman housing project. This right side, Mr. Chair, there are about 100 more or less residents in the area. And of the 100 residents, only uh, currently only two opposes in the expropriation, uh, what we call, uh, in the original negotiation with the local government, Mr. Chair. The concept of the program is that the national government through the DPWH will fund the building and the land shall be the counterpart of the local government unit. So it's the local government, so it's the local government that handles the expropriation, Mr. Chair. And of the residents, uh, of, uh, the residents are the beneficiaries so that when the DPWH started the construction, the residents voluntarily um, dismantled their houses and then turned over it to the local government. That's why the contractor only made the clearing operations. And that is why, Mr. Chair, in the uh, adjudication of evidence with the author, he cannot mention who are those residents who are affected or who are complaining because practically mr chair that's why the government was able to immediately start the project after the negotiation because the residents voluntarily there is only one mr chair which is the client of the author the neri family and the neri family until now the house is not yet demolished can you please show the picture of the uh, Neri family? But anyway, um, and Mr. Chair, the one which was presented by the Ismar Kulita, the one with Bakko and the one those shouting, are not, that is not the site which the buildings 
I have been contracted now. I have been uh, constructed. That is actually on the opposite side. And that particular incident, Mr. Chair, the one shouting there are, are not the residents of that particular building because that particular house that was already vacated by the owner because um, Mr. Um, uh, Mrs. Regina uh, Garcines because the writ, uh, the, there was already a writ of position um, issued by the court and the owner had um, complied, no? respectfully complied with the writ of position. So um, the one that was shouting there are, is not really the residents. It was a fake uh, voice your owner of the Neri family because that particular house is adjacent or a, uh, close to that Neri family, which is the client of the author, which I said, there is uh, the house is not yet demolished until at present. Mr. Chair, um, the resolution calls for illegal demolition. As manifested by the local government of Osami City, there is no illegal demolition because it's the owners that temporary uh, that dismantle their houses after they have been paid and settled by the government by the local government and then uh, because after the completion of the project they will have to be um to return the area because they are the beneficiaries that is why we are now raising an issue on who are the complainants because until now the author has not um has not uh, uh, inform this uh, body on who are the complainants so that we could have asked the complainants if they, they have really houses which are being demolished because the issue of the resolution is illegal demolition and harassment. No, So, um, we, we, with that, Mr. Chair, that's why we are um, we are protesting that particular video uh, presentation no? which has um, that one which uh, uh, which showed that there are people shouting a uh, scary voice in the process of the clearing on that particular area. And again, that particular um, house is not yet part of the um, area where the ongoing construction uh, of the project. Now, um, so that um, I, I maintain your honor no I, I i would like also to mention because in the opening statement of the author that this there is that 15 million part of the 50 million which is also part of the malaobang uh, project that he was insinuating that the implementation of the project is not in accordance with the law because it is a public land um we maintain, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, that the government projects should always be in the public land, on the government land. Uh, that is why um, when it is a private land, it has to be purchased by the government. And in the absence of, or if there is a failure of the negotiation, the government has to roll to expropriation. I would also take exemption on the manifestation of the author, although it is not part, supposedly, of the resolution, but he had mention of that house bill that I filed converting that particular property in Malaobang into an alienable, um, uh, alienable, uh, into alienable. Uh, for the use of uh, commercial and uh, private uh, purposes. I would uh, move Mr. Chair that it should be a stricken part of the record because it is not part of this, uh, uh, it's not part of the resolution. It is not German to the subject matter of this resolution. And it is, I believe, an intrusion you know, to the right of this representation to file bill which he believed is for the best interest of his district. Mr. Chair, no. I and thought he was going to make a presentation of the project only. He's already uh, no. controverting what I have already asked. From the, it, it, from it, the it, is his, it is his time. It is his 30 minutes. 
Now he has only 10 minutes. So, and his interruption was deducted in that 10 minutes, Mr. Chair? Not yet. We will deduct it. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. No. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, manifest, Mr. Chair, that that should be deleted because that is not part. And I feel um, maliciously um, uh, maligned with that particular uh, we, presentation, Mr. Mr. Chair. That, Mr. Because Chair, I'm not making any malicious accusation here. No, Mr. Chair, that is still my time, Mr. Chair. No. Can we strike from the record what he is trying to allude to me, Mr. Chair? I'm not making any malicious accusation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I will rule after uh, you you give me a little uh, air time. If you are keep on debating each other, I cannot rule on the two two request. First, ano uh, on the uh, DSA uh, Ominal, since it is Ominal, Mr. Ominal, since this is not in the resolution, the the third project, let us limit to the Laman project. Yeah, that's why. Mr. Yes, yes, I rule on that favor. Yeah, that that, that his uh, Laman. Yeah, that, building one and two. Yes, Mr. Chair. That's why. Yeah. Uh, I am Mr. Chair. Part of my manifestation I, I that like I should be stricken on the record. The chair yes. That the project includes the third project, for example. So, in, in, are you saying this is part of one contract? Yes, it's yeah. part of one contract. The contract is this. What? 19KJ0186. Yes. What is the construction of multi-purpose building? Open and close parenthesis, housing project, cluster, one and two development. So in Laman and, and in the, the other barangay. The multi-purpose are two types of building. These are condo types com comprising of two buildings. And the cluster is in Maluubang. So it is encompassed in one title only. This is the contract. That okay. is why I, uh, then I why start to be corrected. Correct. If this is one contract, one government project, one allocation in the GAA, then this is part of the hearing. Mr. Chair. The only question, Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, uh, is that, the funding. That is not my point, Mr. Chair, that, that, that I want to be stricken out of the record. What I want to be stricken out of the record was part of his presentation of the house bill that I filed converting that particular area into uh, an alienable property, Mr. Chair. What that are you the saying? The, 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 pre the press conference? The... No, no, Mr. Chair. He was mentioning about the bill that I filed currently and he was even insinuating if I made a disclosure. It is premature to rule on that because we haven't... We, 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 we cannot... Rule on that yet because we haven't heard the facts of that particular case. This is just a one sentence allegation of one of the eight. No. Um, yeah, it, the, it's, not uh, what of, it, it's not part of the eight, Mr. Chair. It's not part of the eight? Yeah, he was just mentioning about the house bill, which I am making. The house bill that I filed, 8095, Mr. Chair. This is a separate house bill, no, which is not part of the agenda. This is not part of the resolution, Mr. Chair. That, uh, he, he was the cluster housing, Mr. Chair, was built on a public land. Yes. And belatedly, he filed. Y yes, I, I remember. I, re I remember. Uh, let me to remedy the situation, yes. Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, I know. I heard. Because that particular public land is inalienable. It is not disposable. So he wanted to remedy this by filing a bill. The title of his bill M is Mr. Chair, seeking, it is still my time. Seeking to reconvert. No, that, that is not my intention, Mr. I'm Chair. Making a point of he, order. No. And your point he of order does not German to, to the subject matter of the case. Stop. Uh, two minutes suspension. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, DS Ominal, you have eight minutes of your 30 minutes. Part of the deducted, Mr. Yes, Chair. Yes, yes. Part. Um, uh, may I know if the representative of the OSD is now on board? Ah, is yes. he in the blue baron? Yes, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, I would like to ask the OSD on... Uh, uh, you submitted a position paper in relation to resolution number 1197, which is the subject of this inquiry. And in your position paper, um, you cited in page two, uh, first paragraph, 
which I quote, Inilical Government Unit, LGU may adopt Republic Act Number 10752 or the Right of Way Act 2015 to implement the infrastructure project based on Section 3 of that law. A new enumerated Section 3, which is National Government Projects, and on the last sentence of this is subject to the provisions of Republic Act Number 7160, otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991, local government units may also adopt the provision of this act for use in the acquisition of right of way for local government infrastructure projects. Will you please uh, expound on uh, further on this particular provision in relation to the power of the LGO in initiating the expropriation case against uh, the respondents in this particular case? Mr. Chair? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Uh, we confirmed that uh, we sent this uh, communication to the, uh, the, the Committee on Housing and Urban Development, which is a letter dated January 11, 2021. And we confirmed that we cited Section 3 of Republic Act Number 10752, where we said the local government units may also adopt the provisions of this act for use in the acquisition of right of way for local government infrastructure projects. It means that if they want to acquire right of way for their own project, they can choose to adopt the Republic Act 10752, Your Honor. And they can do it independently without uh, the intervention or the assistance of the Office of the Solicitor General. Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, we do not represent local government units, Your Honor, even if they file expropriation cases. Okay, so it is in order for them to go ahead with the expropriation case invoking this particular provision? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, last point that I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that in connection with the subject inquiry, the, uh, I was officially informed that the local government of Osamis, the city official, were also uh, charged administratively by uh, two lawyers without mentioning their clients before the DILG on the same issues which being raised by uh, 1197. Mr. Chair, may I therefore uh, present the uh, statement of the undersecretary of the DILG in relation to this particular case that has been Please filed. Please proceed. Uh, against the local government of Osamis. The preliminary statement of Yusik Dinsing. Please take it. Yeah. Good morning, Sec. Uh, good morning, Kong. Uh, Mayor, please take it. Walang sound. Yeah. Uh, good, good morning, morning, morning Sec. Sec. Uh, good, good morning, morning Kong. Uh, uh, Mayor uh, Ado. Uh, si Attorney Benitezen is also on board. Uh, yeah, kino-confirm ko po. Uh, actually, ang nangyari po nito, Sec, uh, when we received the complaint, if I'm not mistaken, mga Ju June of this year, we issued a show cause order kay Mayor for him to explain anong totoo. And then we asked our regional office to make to conduct a uh, separate uh, uh, investigation. No? Uh, and we found out in that report that everything was in order, uh, both legally uh, and, of course, not all, not at the time, not all the houses were demolished. May natira talaga, no? And uh, there were lawyers involved, itong dalawang lawyers na tinangalan. And kaya nga, kung naalala nyo, nung budget hearing ang binabanggit ko kay, kay, kay Kong Marcoleta is this is already uh, an issue of the court. So if there's any uh, issue on at hand, uh, they should file a case in court if they question the whole process. Uh, so, nagkaroon ho ng report yung ating regional office which uh, mentioned that everything was actually on board at walang nagkaroon ng harassment, hindi nagkaroon ng harassment. Uh, the Philippine National Police was only there to uh, promote peace and order. Uh, apparently, the report was uh, unacceptable because of certain pictures and videos which was sent to Congressman Mark Coleta. So, during public hearing, as directed by Secretary Anyo, we uh, we conducted a reinvestigation. Uh, 
uh, a team composed of uh, the BLGS Bureau of Local Government Supervision under the Bantay Corruption Program, uh, PNPCIDG, uh, uh, yung lok ang uh, ating reg- representative from the uh, regional office. So they conducted uh, the reinvestigation, and again, it came out uh, consistent pa rin yung report uh, nila with that the original report the regional office. And this was uh, ang bagong report to galing sa uh, police lieutenant uh, that was on the ground to make the investigation, uh, denying that there was harassment from the on the part of the PNP. And uh, bumabarin yung ating uh, uh, another investigation team from the uh, provincial office. And again, confirming. In fact, uh, sa huling report po, uh, as of uh, I think November 12, uh, there were still 22 undemolished houses out of the 35 kasi yung 13 po nag, nag-self-demolish na at tumipat dun sa temporary resettlement site. Dun sa 22 of 21, at sa 21 of 22 are really supportive also of the housing project of Congressman Waminal. Yung ni Isa, tama yung nabanggit dun sa presentation yung Neri family, which, the only, which is the only one really opposing the, the project. Nag-iisa na lamang po yun. And uh, based sa nakita ko kanina sa presentation ni Kong uh, Waminal, mukhang, nag, uh, mukhang uh, nag-giveaway na rin yung nag-iisang uh, opposition, yung Neri family. So, uh, if the presentation is... Uh, uh, considered then uh, as of today Secretary uh, Secretary Ed uh, kompleto na ho in other words wala na ho opposition dun sa sa demolition at pagpapagawa ng housing project uh, more or less 100% kasi nag-iisa na lang po yung yung uh, uh, opposition based on the report we had that uh, I think two weeks back uh, so I think ongoing na ho yan and this is focus order since uh, there was proper investigation, the, there was uh, acceptability on the, or verified uh, 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 response by Mayor Addo, then uh, uh, be it on record that uh, we have satisfied ourselves with the, with the response of uh, the mayor that there was uh, the allegations were be. really unfounded. Uh, you po, uh, Mr. Secretary, um, kong, uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Chair, I will now wind up that... Um, with those um, evidences and those clarifications which I have presented, I maintain that uh, uh, until now, um, with the presentation of evidence of the author, that it is not fully established, that there are really um, uh, people affected as claim by the author so on the issue of malfeasance non-feasance and misfeasance of any offices mentioned by him and uh, that there are no officers and employees that are properly identified who committed such particular violations of the law so um, we submit that um, in when the committee decides whether or not uh, it has jurisdiction on the matter and has basis to proceed, then uh, we maintain that uh, the author failed to establish uh, strong evidence that warrant further inquiry of this um, um, uh, of this committee. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair, for my first round. Uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you.